and on the cameras very quickly. On the back, as you can see, triple camera setups, like I said, you have a 12 megapixel wide angle lens, eight megapixel telephoto lens, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor on the S20 FE. And on the S10, we have 12 megapixel sensors, a wide angle lens, a 12 telephoto lens, and then a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Now, when it comes down to the software of both devices, you can see they are exactly the same thing and they kind of have the same type of quality going too, but I actually kind of like how the S10 photo looks like in real life. This one on the S20 FE looks a little bit more bland. This one looks like it pops out a little bit more. I don't know if that has to do with the you know post-processing, but I think the S10 kind of looks a little bit better just from this little thing, but I didn't want to show you that. I wanted to show you the amount of features that both cameras have at the very end. And you can kind of see, weirdly enough, the Galaxy S20 FE does kind of show more features than the S10. Now, I think this one is still stuck on a One UI 2 and not necessarily One UI 2.5. So you will pretty much have the same exact features on both. Whatever features you see here will also be on the S10. It is not a S20 FE specific feature. It is a software feature. And once this gets One UI 2.5, once I update to it, then it'll be perfectly fine. But both phones have the same exact capability for the most part. It really just comes down to the quality. And with the S10, I've had a really good experience with it. Like I said, you know, 4K at 60, no 8K, but neither of these phones support 8K. The S20 does, and even the Note 20s. And I love this phone. I love this phone camera. I've compared it to pretty much all the other cameras out there once this phone came out, even after phones. And I love this camera. I think it's really good. You have that telephoto lens. You have that ultra wide. It's a little glitchy here and there, but I think the quality of this camera and the lens is a very, very nice. And at the end of the day, I think it honestly is still one of the better cameras out there. It's not perfect, you know? There's no like 4K 120 or like 8K, but I think it's totally okay for a majority of people out there. And I think the Galaxy S20 FE is pretty much the exact same thing. I really don't think you're going to be getting any crazier features on this one that you don't already have on the S20 FE. You do have a 32 megapixel front facing camera on this phone, which really doesn't mean too much. I feel like the S10's camera is still extremely good too, even though it's only 10 megapixels on the front. But this camera, like I said, you have that telephoto and you have that ultra wide sensor as well. And at the end of the day, that is a very, very cool thing that I really do like. You know, you have multiple different setups on here, so you can have that ultra wide if you want to zoom out a lot or that telephoto if you want to zoom in a lot so between both i don't think one really blows the other one out of the water but i think the maybe the s20 fe is better because it's newer but they're both very close and if you're not like comparing them side by side i don't think you're going to notice too big of a difference if i'm being honest no.